of Series 6 of Master League Story Mode, and this is sure to be a season-defining episode. What an incredibly exciting end to the league season we are likely to be involved in. We're only three points behind Leaders Corinthians, uh, who are our Sao Paulo County rivals just down the road. There's going to be some bad blood. This is an absolutely huge one. If we can brush aside Curitiba to start this episode, then, well, depending on how Corinthians do, we go in with a chance of uh, drawing things level with only a handful of games left this season. This is absolutely crucial. They have been the dominant side all season, the Corinthians, but we've just chipped away at their lead bit by bit, and now suddenly we're back in with a chance. They've slipped up a few draws. I want to just check and see what was the result. Oh, so we lost 4-0 to them. Yeah, that was the uh, misery at the Monero, but we invite them back to the Moises Lucarelli, and they're in bandit country now. Oh, this is going to be huge. We've got to win this next game, though. We've got to keep some momentum going into it. Let's take a look here. Oh, okay, so we've got some international fatigue. Marilison is injured until sometime in October. Oh, that's... that's unfortunate. The scout's back, and Bruno Vini's got some interest from Turkey, I think. Oh dear, so how long is Ziggy out for? Will he be out for both games? This could be absolutely crucial. Let's take a look. It's only one day. He's going to be back. Balboa will have to start today, but he's on a blue arrow. Um, we need to keep the momentum going. Come on, I'm so excited about this second game. We have to put ourselves in a position where a win against the league leaders will see us still competing. We've, we've got to do it. We've got to do it, and we've got to win today. And we've got to do it in the city of Curitiba, 294 miles south of Campinas. A team that we know fairly well. They finished second to us in Serie B last season. Uh, before that, they finished 10th in Serie B. So they're not an incredible side. They did well to be promoted. And actually, they had a pretty good run at form at the beginning of last season. And one interesting fact about Curitiba is uh, the club has German roots. Founded as part of a sports club run by Curitiba's German immigrant population. Literally, a man called Fritz turned up to what was then a gymnastics club with a leather ball and said... Mind friends, let's play football. But hopefully today they won't be exhibiting any of the uh, ruthless efficiency of German sides. Uh, we can't play in the throwback kit away from home. We'll change that up and we'll go and look at the sides today. A team that we already know will be without Serie A's top scorer and our top man, the number nine, Ziggy Marilison. Um, our senior can come in. Patchy almost snuck on there. Uh, on now though. Castro off, and who else? Everyone on the pitch looks okay to me, except for maybe Ivan on a downward arrow. Do we bring in Walter? Drops us by only two team spirit, that's not too bad. We'll bring him in, we'll bring him in. And we'll give the captaincy today to Jimmy Quids. What an episode he had last time out. Balboa, well, he's got some pressure on him today. He has failed to score in almost every opportunity we've given him. We even gave him a little bit of a run in the side. Uh, we could start Asano up there, play Maro out on the right. We'll maybe swap that around if necessary. What's Asano like as a centre forward? 71, yeah. Could easily do that. Uh, Curitiba, two defensive mids. Um, yeah, smattering of 60 rated players. We are away from home. We have struggled on the road in recent games. Um, we've got some tired legs as well. Right, come on. We've got to win though. We have to win. So here we are under the lights at the Kutu Pereira Stadium here in Curitiba. Uh, the entire 45,563 capacity sold out for this massive game against the side who are absolutely competing for the Serie A title this season. Uh, we never expected to be here in our first season, of course we didn't after uh, being promoted. But now it's all very, very real on how big a shame it would be to lose momentum against their bottom half of the table side like Curitiba, a team we know well. We've got to get the win today. Nothing less will do. My ball here, no issues at all for Gabriel. And now Mario Jr. into Camposano, goes first time into Balboa. He does take it down. Quidzy into Asano. Oh, Asano there, side down. No, referee says all okay. And just about 20 minutes gone in this game so far, and it's very close. Balboa finds Asano. Asano back inside to Rocky. Oh, straight at the keeper, and he can't get the rebound. Maro Jr. will have a go. Oh, this game has sparked into life. A little bit of possession for the home side here. Matthias out wide. Quidzy. Hassling. Balboa's in there trying to get a foot in. He's dropped very deep. I'm not quite sure that's part of the game plan, Rocky. Galdazani now. Oh, Camposano narrowly misses it. Referee says play on. This is a good spell of play here from Curitiba. Oh, lovely touch. Lopez will find Alano. Camposano can't win it back. Abner does. And that is a fair and strong tackle. And now Balboa. Can he push it into space for Asano? No, he can't. But he gets it back very fortunately there. 
Now Barboa will slow it down. Oh, good work. And Abner is there, of course. He's always there. Asano to look for in the box. Difficult ball for him. Balboa keeps it alive. Igor. No. <sighs> Damn it. Oh, Marcinho, great work. Oh, clever ball into Quidzi. Igor's there. Finds Balboa edge of the box. Oh, Rocky. Two big chances for the big centre forward. And he's fluffed his lines now. On maybe three occasions. <sighs> It's a good cutback from Igor. Got to get that on target. Is he right-footed? I'm pretty sure he's right-footed. Gabriel gets underneath it, but doesn't win it. Now Thiago Lopez, Curitiba, looking really dangerous every time they have the ball. 34 minutes on the clock. <sighs> Maro needed to sort that. Needed to sort that. Oh, Gabriel, good clearance. Igor gets his head to it. Quidzi caught in possession. They are really taking the game to us here. The home side. Rodrigal, good turn. Great effort. And Ibanez. Another desperate clearance from Bonte Bretta. But we'll get it back here. Could we have a chance to hit him on the break? Quidzy ball into Igor. Oh, doesn't take it down, but Marcinio does. Considers the ball inside. And we'll just take a second here. Quidzy into Asano. Ah, oh, first touch. Can't take him away. Oh, but Marajuna's won it back. Takuma Asano now into the box. Curls one straight into the gloves of Rafael Martins. Well, there's been some flurries of excitement from Ponte Bretta. Yet to really get away. A shot with any venom to it. Oh, real opportunity here, but Abner gets a big foot in. And we'll look early for Balboa. Back out to Abner. This is nice work here. Oh, come on, how can you end it there? Well, um, Curitiba started strongly. They've actually had a lot of possession, but we created some great chances. Only two shots on target. It should have definitely been three. Balboa. I think we'll give him another 15 minutes. We'll give him another chance. I mean, literally one more shot on goal. And if it's not a goal, then I think we're going to push Asano up top and rejig things a little bit. Maybe bring Marcinho onto the right-hand side. Um, this game's there for the taking, but also Curitiba looking dangerous in possession. So, yeah, this is it's a serious business. We need to have all of our wits about us. Let's do this. Vamos, Macaca. Mara Junior, Asano. Oh, lovely stuff here. Oh, Thiago Real just didn't have the motor to get there. Wasn't far off, though. Even as inside to Marcinho. It's good work. Igor. Oh, it's not good work. Oh, mistake there. Balboa will get to it. Abner with the overlap. Ball inside. Looking for Mara Jr. Not far away. Camposano just about finds Mara Jr. Ball into Abner, takes it on the run. Oh, good defending, but we're really pressuring them here. Starting the half as we finish the first. Still no breakthrough, though. Quincy outside to Marcinho. Balboa. Oh, he's offside. Def 100 million percent offside. He's not even celebrating. Yeah, yeah. Well, we said we'd give him one chance on goal. To be fair, he finished it, but he was a country mile offside. Yeah. Unfortunate. That's a great finish. That's a great finish. It won't count. We'll give you another five at least. You've earned that much. Mara Junior, that's a poor ball. Oh, real danger here. The ball is out to Luzinho. Marcinho back with him. Forcing him wide. Gets a good block in there. Good block. They're going to get to this. Oh, that was a bit rash. Sale. Oh, Luzinho, really dangerous ball to the far post. Happens there. A little bit of pressure here. Squeaky bum time is happening. Just over an hour gone. One more opportunity, I think, for Balboa. Zinho, though, to put this one in. Dangerous here. Abner rises for it. Can't get to it. Oh! Cleared off the line there. That's absolutely epic. I don't know who that was. But that was heroic stuff. And now Igor on the break. Through the centre. Balboa's made an excellent run here. Ah, oh, just couldn't quite find him. I think that was Camposano on the post. And that was... Possibly the clearance that could keep us in the title race. Incredible stuff. Oh, nearly won that back there. We were going to make changes, but I realised that um, Balboa is on a blue. I think we need to give him more chances. Camposano, clever ball, looking for Asano. <gasps> Rafael Martins just gets a glove to it. So much pressure on the home side, but they're holding strong. That's very poor distribution. So despite what I said, we're going to leave Balboa on. Paolo Otavio is going to have a run down that left-hand side. And Marcelio on in place of Thiago Real. 
Um, we deserve to win this one, but we could easily draw it. I can see that happening. Here is the substitute, Marcinho. Arrow Jr. into Balboa. We've kept him on because he's on a blue arrow today. Great ball into Marcinho. The substitute hits it straight at the keeper. Oh, more good play. Still no goals, Mara Jr. Balboa, great hold up, and that's a lovely ball to slot him in. Went to put it between the keeper's legs. Keeper made himself big. Great work. Marcinho over this one. He looked for the head of Balboa. Balboa gets there. Mara Jr. edge of the box. Will hit one. Oh, and he's hit it well. Hit it well. He might get another opportunity here, but Balboa will. <gasps> Why have you taken that on your left, Rocky? For fuck's sake. <laughs> You're absolute retard. No, no. So he goes like, you fucking. I'm going to murder your fat. No, no, no. Actually, no, you're doing really well, Rocky. I don't know. I've kept him on because he's on a blue. That's more of a blooper. <laughs> oh, I'm crying inside. Come on. Balboa, you need to score. Oh, Marcinho's injured, so we're not going to be able to bring on a centre forward now. Oh, lovely. No, he's lost it. And Marcinho will get to it. Through to Balboa. Oh, you are fucking kidding me. <laughs> that was a guaranteed one on one, I thought. Marcinho now through the centre. The substitute into Takuma Asano. Oh, the casual finish. Just too casual. <laughs> no. <laughs> Please, no. We deserve a goal. That was absolutely as close as it gets. Oh, Otavio, yes. Absolutely Herculean work there from the substitute. Can he play in Mario Junior here? The ball across to Asano. Yes, there it is. In the 93rd minute. Surely a goal that puts us right up there with Corinthians that keeps us in the title fight. Scenes here, absolute scenes. Oh, wow. We just kept plugging away. That's the Zico spirit. I didn't think it was going to come, to be honest. I've got to be honest with you, but it's that guy. Takuma Asano, what a wonderful goal. Takuma Asano. Oh, that's going to be ringing around the streets of Campinas today. I mean, you've got to give huge credit to Paolo Otavio. Won it back. Passed the ball in there to Mara Jr. Simple ball across. No heroics, no flashness there from the young man. That's a cool head on those inexperienced shoulders of Takuma Asano. <laughs> Had the whole goal to aim at. Wasn't going to miss that one. I can't believe we've done it. I cannot believe it. What a performance. 94th minute winner from Takuma Asano. He's already going down in Ponte Preta folklore. But if we go on to win the league by some miracle, then he will surely be sainted. Surely the keys to the city are his. Look at that. Well, we deserved it. We played really well. The home side played their part, but we're a better team. Someone under there with a 7.5. Well, senior with a 4.5 and an injury. That's a slight. Yeah, well, we'll try and look past that. Well, senior struggling still to uh, earn his price tag. But yeah, great work there. Marcinho played well coming on, and obviously Paolo Otavio was excellent. Very pleased, very pleased. So crucially, how do Corinthians get on? Oh, a draw against Flamengo! <laughs> so we can go ahead of them, or level with a draw. We can go into first place with a win at the Magisto, so it's going to be absolutely rocking. Only three days later as well, shit, we're going to have some tired legs. We pushed ourselves to the limit for that win. Um, wow, 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 wow. How many games have we got left after this game? One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got to play for Mango again. Seven games after this. So still a fair way to go, but put yourself in pole position. And then all you've got to do is win every game. Oh, Marcino's out for four days. He won't feature. Um, but Marilison should be back. Let's take a look at the messages. Yeah. Oh, we got both Marcinos injured. Or is that the same one? Uh, yeah. Exhaustion injury. I mean, with the, pfft, yeah, I suppose. Uh, Marilison's fit and ready to go. Thank God, because Balboa was a disgrace. Right. Okay. This is where it gets very, very serious. If you haven't already, wait, fuck it, just sport the lads. Smash it. Yep, Tim, thank you. Thank you. We know, we know. Gotta smash that like button to give us the luck we need for this absolutely huge game. 
and this is sort of, as I mentioned, sort of a local derby. They're probably the closest side to us. In fact, I'm sure they are. 67 miles north in the city of Sao Paulo. We're in the county or region of Sao Paulo. That's where Campinas is. Uh, so we'll know them well from many uh, Campeonato Polistas. I think that's the name of the cup. Pretty sure it is. So yeah, this is a team that we know very, very well. Uh, and like Ponte Preta, I think I mentioned this when we played and we lost 4-0 to them at the beginning of the season. This is a side started by railway workers from uh, yeah humble roots. So there are a lot of similarities between the two sides, but it sort of ends there in terms of success. Ponte Preta, other than this season, of course, uh, still yet to win a Serie A title still relatively unknown across most of the world uh, whereas Corinthians are the second most supported team in Brazil with reportedly over 30 million insanely passionate and loyal fans when Corinthians took on and beat Chelsea in the 2012 FIFA Club World Cup final they took a quite incredible 30,000 supporters to the Japanese city of Nagoya I mean that is unbelievable support that really is but Let's take nothing away from the Ponte Pretanos, who are going to be out an incredible force tonight. Uh, we're absolutely going to have to wear the throwback kit, hopefully for a bit of luck. I reckon that could work. So they'll have to play in their uh, their white kit. We need this, we need this. Come on, <laughs> let's take a look at the sides. How's it? Oh, oh, oh that's... Oh, it is both Marcinos. <laughs> that's, that's annoying. Uh, only a few days between them, but yeah. Not a good day to be a Marcinho. And Bruno Avini's going to have to come back in. <laughs> Even as has been an absolute rock for us, so that is a huge blow. Uh, but Ziggy on a blue arrow, that is encouraging. Uh, but Camposano, who's also been hugely important for us on this run, is going to have to drop out. So I guess we bring back in Luis Fernando. Um, this is a team almost identical to the one that got promoted. Only Gabriel actually featuring who wasn't involved in that incredible run. Um, yeah, that's a bit of a blow, but we can... That's fine. Uh, Corinthians, full of quality. Um, Clayson, really dangerous. Great back line. Cassio, an 80-rated goalkeeper. Yeah, there's a lot of good players in here. A lot of quality. Uh, quite a conservative formation. It's going to be a busy midfield. So Fernando and Igor are really going to need to be on top of their game today. Right, come on. This is the, this is the biggest game of our season. Let's do this. So I've probably shared at some points during this series footage of uh, Ponte Pretanos, the Ponte Preta fans, in the streets around the Moises Lucarelli Stadium before big games, before derbies. And it is an apocalyptic hellscape of flares, of drumming. I mean, hellscapes, hellscapes the wrong word. I would absolutely love to go to Campinas and see it, but I can only imagine the carnage that would be happening before this game. This is our, this is our FA Cup World Cup final. This is the one we need. Let's do it. Igor will chip one wide to Gabriel. Oh, lovely first touch from the centre back into Ziggy. What a save! What a save to deny us the first goal. Oh, Abner, that touch. That's absolutely obscene. And now Abner will take on Ramiro. Can he get a ball into the box? He can. It's blocked. Absolutely obscene save before that. Oof. 13 minutes in, and we are the aggressors here. Ramiro now. Oh, that's a very good ball. Looking for Gustavo. Bruno Avini back in the side today. He had to get that right. Bruno! Oh, my God. Gabriel. No, 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 no. <laughs> Plays and flashes right. <laughs> oh, he's not even as is he, Bruno Avini. Did okay. Just got drawn in with that one. I thought Gabriel would have this. It's really great work there to play it back to Clayson. Luckily, not on target. This came already living up to... Uh, the excitement we expected. This is a huge one. So much on the line. Abner. Just a dribble away from Vital. Oh, great running there from Abner. And he'll speed into the box now. Looking for Tiago Real. Mara Jr. back to Igor. Igor from the edge of the box. Good hit. Easy save for Cassio in the end. Igor into Mara Jr. Oh, Mara Jr. Lovely turn of pace. Can he find Madison? Now he can. Madison turns away. Ziggy! <laughs> Another great save. Was a very highly rated keeper, wasn't it? Uh, in for Corinthians today, and he's been tested already. Oh, great pressure there, and Fagner forced to put it into touch. We are going a thousand miles an hour at the moment, and it's beautiful to see. Oh, Luis Fernando reads that well. We get the ball in right here. Oh, clever into Abner. Abner crosses. Marlison's there. The header. It's well wide. 
but again, not even half an hour gone here, and all of the action is taking place in the Corinthians box. Here's Fernando back in today. A little bit of style with that one, as he gets ahead to it. Can get it on target. Mara Jr. finds Abner again. He's always there, and he just speeds away from Fagner as if he isn't there. Oh, that is... I thought it was a great challenge, but referee saw it differently. Abner making him look very slow there, and it's going to be a yellow card for the captain today. Um, well, looked fair, but we've got a great opportunity here. Quincy to put a ball into the box. Get it on the edge of the six-yard box. Tiago Real, the in-swinger. Oh, oh, falls to Ziggy! Oh! <laughs> Much like the last game, we're creating chances. Just not finishing them. Let's not leave it quite as late as we did last time. I don't think my heart can handle it. Absolutely nothing wrong with our passing today. And Luis Fernando now finding a bit of space. He'll go back. We're not rushing it. Oh, Quincy, what a ball. Get there, Abner. Yes. Good ball in. Yes. Madison. Oh! <laughs> we are playing incredible football at the moment. Deserve, surely deserve a goal now. Good ball in from Abner, who's looked absolutely world class so far today. Madison, even though he's in the blue, couldn't get that on target. Great pressure here, forcing mistakes. Lovely work, Ponte Preta. Quidzi, Asano, through to Marilson. He's through here. Ziggy with the lob. <laughs> Could have maybe held on to that for a little longer. We saw an opportunity at the far post. And we saw the headlines and the highlight reels. Ziggy, I mean, maybe Asano would have got there. I think it was going in. Cassio has been absolutely immense for him, but surely it's coming. Oh, that's poor. Marilson now. Back inside. Ziggy, come on. Oh, no. Ziggy, on the left. Yeah, no. <laughs> I was already celebrating. I don't believe this. This episode is doing a number on me. Oh, I think he's done everything right there. That's a great block. Sano keeps it alive and another chance presents itself. Oh, and on the left he puts it wide. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> Tighten your tie up, Ziggy. There's still a goal in this for you. I can absolutely feel it in my bones, but it doesn't look like it's going to be in this half. And what a half of football this has been. Uh, obviously not for the home side. Another mistake there. They really want to pass out from the back. And we really don't want to let them. Oh, the high line has been great on now, though. That's very smart. And actually, the referee saw nothing wrong with it. Well, this has been a game of uh, many, many talking points already. We go in. There's one key talking point. Nil-nil. Nil-nil. Um, yeah, dominant. Look at that. 11 shots. 57% possession. You come to Bandit Country. You come to Campinas. Then you better be correct. And they are not. They're just not correct. This is not the side. Um... That it's going to be winning the league if that's how they're going to play. We can do this. Come on. Come on. We've got this. Bit of possession here. Eagle misses that interception. That's a lovely ball out to Clayson. Gets this ahead of Arnaldo. Oh, Arnaldo just showed his hand a little early there. Clayson cuts inside. Arnaldo's involved. Falls to Gustavo. <laughs> what a horrible start to the half that would have been. Ivan, grateful to get that one in his gloves. Right, come on. We cannot allow them back into this game. Forcing them to go long. Oh, that's a good header though from Clayson. Vital inside to Gustavo. Danger here. Oh, Bruno Vini, just the slightest of toe on that one, and a crucial toe. And Fernando now wide to Arnaldo. He can stream forward. We know he's got pace. To Kumarasano. Oh, just about gets away with that and turns into trouble. Ah, oh, so nearly found a way through. Abner now in a foot race with Ramiro. Abner allows him to turn back inside. No, 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 no. Not allowed. Oh, Fernando, you've got to do better there. Gustavo's header is over the bar. 70 minutes gone. And unsurprisingly, the best team in the league have come out and reminded us this, that they're not actually the worst team in the league. And they are putting on far better performance in the beginning of the second half. The chances are all falling to them. Oh no, Arnaldo out of position. Miles out of position. Clayson now with space and time. Oh, turns back inside. Avala. Oh, really dangerous ball. No! <gasps> Ivar! <laughs> you absolute legend. Danger still there. Very much still there. No! <laughs> no! 
Oh, it was coming. It was coming. Corinthians have come out. And they've been a completely different side. This all started from Arnaldo being dragged out of position. What a save that is, I think, from Ivan to tip it onto his crossbar. And the ball is allowed to come back in and Bruno Avini just sleeping there. Oh, no, I don't believe this. No, a point is enough. A point is good enough. So I might regret this, but we're switching up the midfield duo. Luis Fernando and Ego go off. They've not really done much wrong, but we're going with Pedro Castro and Matthias in their place. Certainly more attacking ability there. Um, hopefully not a wrong decision. It's not a decision we make very often, but Marison snuck in there, won it back. Asano won't get to that shit. Big opportunity there, missed. Avner on the overlap. Mario Jr. back inside, surely fouled there. No, no, and the ball is on here. Oh, the overlap is there. The overload is there. If they can find it. Oh, Mosquito. Buzzing around, that's a good ball. Pedro Castro, fair tackle. No, 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 no. It's all over here, I don't believe it. I don't believe this. Going to the box for town now. Oh, no. Oh, and that is game over. That is game over. What a cruel mistress this game has been. It, if, oh, they've all fucking missed them. It's a good ball in, I guess. It's a good ball in, but really didn't deal with it, did we? I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. That is a crushing blow to Ponte Preta's season. And Corinthians there, just showing the quality there in the second half. Ruthlessness, efficiency. Ah, oh, we had them exactly where we wanted. We had 11 shots. 50-50 possession. We just couldn't finish it off. We couldn't kill it. We couldn't kill it. And that's probably the lead goal now. That was our chance. A draw at least would have been fine. But we couldn't even find ourselves in a position to fight for that single point at the end of the game. Oh. A four-point lead is not an unassailable one. But in terms of... Our confidence in terms of the momentum, it's all with Corinthians now. That was our chance. It, it was always an outsider. We were always a, a massive outsider. A huge dark horse, darker than dark, but you can't help but be gutted by that. Oh, had a chance. We had so many chances in that first half. Let me know in the comments who you would blame that on. Who should have finished it off? Who should have been the one? to win us that first half at least. One goal probably would have been all that was needed. Absolutely gutted. Thiago Real, obviously very disappointed. There are always lessons to take from every defeat. It's just a matter of learning them and pushing on. <sighs> I hope so, Jimmy. I really do. Well, there we are. Well, we've got to keep our chins up. We've got to keep smashing forward. Join me in the next episode. Hopefully we win every game to the end of the season and make it difficult for Corinthians. But the Sao Paulo bragging rights are very solidly in the city of Sao Paulo this evening. I'm absolutely gutted. I'll see you in a bit.